What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregolos TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a lot of news stories today, so let's dive right in. Our first story of the day has to do with iPhone and Apple and their tablets, and it looks like they're going to be forced into using USB-C, at least in Europe. And if they're gonna have to do it in Europe, you can bet they're gonna do it everywhere in the world at that point. Um, there's already rumors that the next iPhone's gonna be USB-C compatible. We've heard that for the last couple of years anyway. It's rumoring up again for the next one that comes up. But, but by the end of 2024, Apple has to go USB-C. So this is great news. Almost everything else is USB-C in the world and it's time Apple jumps on this train they're they're on a little bit they are a little bit with their their some of their laptops and with some of their tablets but the phones definitely and then some of their other devices as well next up as you can see right here the galaxy buds 2 pro earbuds have gotten their first official firmware update it's pretty big too at that i know it only says like five megs but still that's pretty big when you usually see these updates and they're in their twos um it doesn't seem to have added any new features really just stability uh, and bug fixes. So I personally didn't grab it just yet, but um, next time I connect to my buds, I will definitely install this update. Actually, I'm on automatic updates. So maybe I did get it. Probably not though. But yeah, check for if, if you're not, if you don't have automatic updates turn on, go into the settings of your Galaxy wearable app and download the newest update. Speaking of Samsung and Galaxy, what are the battery sizes going to be on the S23 Ultra and S23 Plus. Well, looks like the S23 Plus is getting a little bit of a bump and we've sp spoken about the Ultra, but it looks like it's getting locked in more and more. So for the 23 Ultra, it'll be locked in at 5,000 milliamp battery. And then for the 23 Plus, you're looking at 4,700 milliamp battery on there to get a little bit more juice and life out of your phone. All good at the end of the day. Uh, when is Samsung going to go crazy and eclipse these amounts? They probably won't. Um, maybe if battery technology changes, they might. Or, or even if they are able to create batteries that weigh less. But I don't think they want their phones to be, you know, super fat and super heavy either. So I think that's why we're probably seeing these batteries pretty much stick to where they are. And our last story of the day has to do with the Google Pixel Seven and Seven Pro. Again, August or October, I should say, 6th is the day that it will be announced and unveiled. Uh, one of the things I spoke about yesterday and that I've been talking about is, hey, we're supposed to see a brighter, brighter screen. Um, I hadn't heard anything about it. Today, I finally did. So this is really, really good news. One of my, my pet peeves about the Pixel phones is they just don't get bright enough. They're pretty dim displays. They've been like that for years. And it looks like they're finally fixing it this year. I will admit, it's not the brightest display ever on a phone, which belongs to the iPhone 14 Pro Max at 2,000 nits of brightness at its ultra, ultra peak. But Google's getting there. So for the 7 Pro, you're looking at 1500 nits. And for the 7, you're looking at 1400 nits. Very, very respectable numbers on that upper echelon. Not the highest, highest, not as high as the latest Samsung phones um, from the 22 Ultra, but high enough to where I could probably have this at half brightness and be pretty freaking happy at that point. And not because generally I'm keeping that thing at 80, 90% just to get it at a comfortable brightness for me. So I'm very, very happy about hearing this, that the brightness is definitely getting improved. Thanks so much, guys. Your question of the day is, do you like a bright display or a dim display? Or you kind of somewhere in the middle, you don't really care. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.